All right, everyone, Katie Novak and Catlin Tucker, we're here answering questions about our upcoming book, UDL and Blended Learning. And one question that we got from a colleague was, of course, the goal of UDL is to develop expert learners, but what role does blended learning play in this? And so I wanna first unpack this concept of what is an expert learner, which is essentially a self-directed motivated learner. It is a kid who is able to identify or recognize what the goal of a learning experience is, and then to decide what are the best strategies and what are the best resources in order to get there. And that requires this really beautiful embracing of mistakes is that we learn to make really good decisions by reflecting on decisions we made that didn't quite lead us to where we want to go. And so, uh, Catelyn, how does blended learning support this like self understanding or the self knowledge of like, what's the best way for me to learn? What's the best me for me to share that I have learned based on this standards? And how does it better allow for student self differentiation? So I always say that at the heart of blended learning is a shift in control from teacher to learner. And quite frankly, if learners don't have true control over their learning experience, it's going to be very difficult for them to develop as an expert learner, to develop that independence and, and to be really motivated to lean into that learning. And when I talk about blended learning, I really emphasize that it needs to be a partnership between teacher and learner. And to really help support that, teachers have to invest time and energy into that metacognitive work, that skill building, really helping students, as you're saying, think about um, what strategies am I using? What's been successful in the past that I might use in this scenario? Um, what goals do I have for myself? How am I kind of monitoring and tracking my progress? And so I think, you know, those things are easier to support, to give students the tools and skills, you know, to build those metacognitive muscles in a blended learning environment where they have more control over things like time, place, pace, and path. So perfect. So you can learn more about expert learning and how blended learning provides a really great foundation to build expert learning in classrooms in our upcoming book, UDL and Blended Learning.